I wasn't there quite one year in the oncology department and I had this little lady that I took care of about three weeks and the husband used to come in every day dressed in the same clothing. Nobody ever came to visit them. Um, and I got a little worried when they got discharged because she had lung cancer with brain meds. And I thought maybe six months down the road he was going to be needing some help. So I just gave him a piece of paper with my number on it and I said, if you ever need anything, please call me. And I was a little worried about them, but they actually called the next night. He took her to radiation and on the way home, um, she couldn't get up the stairs back into her apartment. So um, they ended up calling and I called my husband and I said, can I please move uh, a couple of people in just for a couple of weeks while uh, this patient goes through radiation because we're closer to the hospital from where they were and she was very weak when she left. Anyway, and he, we had just had his mom that lived with us and she passed away in our home with cancer so we had a commode chair, a wheelchair, all that kind of stuff and so he said, are you going to start doing this a lot and uh, all the time and I said, no, I, I've been here a year and I haven't done it yet. So he was very supportive and we moved them in for two months and then ended up finding um, a little senior apartment that was ground floor, so uh, we got them moved into there, and um, she ended up passing away uh, like about six weeks later. And then we remained uh, friends with him, and um, he stayed in our life. He had absolutely nobody, and for the next um, eight years, and then he was diagnosed with bladder cancer, so we ended up uh, he had fallen at home and went to the emergency room and he was bleeding from the bladder cancer and they asked him uh, or told him he was going to have to move into a nursing facility and he said no I'm moving in with the molestics and he gave our phone number and they called my husband and my husband said sure yeah he is and so he came and lived with us for the last 17 months of his life but by then after eight years he was like a member of the family he had been to every holiday every everything with us, you know. He's been, went on a couple of vacations with us. Um, uh, he got mad the first time we, we went on a vacation without him, so we started taking him.